Hey everybody, so we're here at my house, got the bus there. Um, I'm going to show you all the other pickups I've gotten today and yesterday at, over at that dumpster and garbage picking. First thing, um, these four modernist legs. Uh, on eBay, those will be about 15 bucks. You know, they're all they are is just wood pointed legs from the 50s or 60s. And it's, iron's just scrap. Let's see. Thought the tack hammer was pretty neat. And some more scrap. Uh, got this really neat Victorian level. Um, the bubbles are still a good. I mean, the glass isn't broke. I didn't see a name though, but it's got brass. Um, one of my favorite things I got. Got to actually figure out how to open this once I find a knife. But it's a JB. It's probably JB Company. Jim Beam Company. I don't know. Cash box. Wouldn't that be cool? But it's definitely Victorian. Super neat. Um, that's definitely like a forty-dollar bill. And if you did Etsy, it'd be like a hundred. Um, got this trash can and the trash can's full of other good flea market stuff. Glue gun with uh, sticks. So, pledge is always good. It always sells for two, three dollars. There's a lot of this old tin, uh, tin stuff. I don't know, it just looks interesting patch and it, it's still good it was soft so I grabbed it boiled linseed oil a full bottle I normally get four bucks for those at uh, the flea market these are all full packs of staples and they're always good for a buck or two um, uh, it's cracked garbage liquid coffee check to see if that was good. This butcher wax though, just definitely old, probably 1940s. Put that over there with antique stuff. Here's another one, but that's, that's not as old. It's 50s, is my guess. Don't know what's in this box. I grabbed it for a reason. It must be like All this stuff seems to sell well. It's just old hair coloring. And I don't know. That's not that exciting. But somebody probably won it. Uh, this? It's an electric knife. In there? Yeah. I grabbed it because it had its original box. Somebody might buy that. The, I grabbed a... The only mach sewing machine I got out of there was a featherweight. And I'm pretty sure these are all featherweight parts. Um, featherweight's one of the best uh, sewing machines online at least. I guess they use it for quilting. But I'm pretty sure those are all featherweight parts. Had no clue what that was, but it was just cool. Do not oil. I don't know. I have no, I'm going to give that to Naz for putting on the side of one of his guns. Fun flower tin. Not that old, but it looks old. Kid lunchbox from the 30s or 40s, I think. Maybe not. Ooh, look. Postage stamps, 25 cents. We got probably uh, five bucks in postage stamps. Ooh, and is that a piece of silver? Let's see. Yes, it is sterling. With a, I bet that's that's a good eBay piece. The just the the little medallion. 
Mm, nothing else in there. That was pretty neat though. I didn't expect that. The rest is garbage, but the tin with the cats is really kind of cute. Definitely old. Oops. Here's the top of it. Got that. Oops. All the oil pour, pulled out of this liquid wrench. That kind of sad. That's super cool. Franklin glue. And that's like 1930s glue. I got two of those. One has a better front cover, but the other one has a better top. See, I have a scratch here. I don't have a scratch on that one. Another basket hook. Those always sell for a dollar or two. Oh, I gotta pour that out. It's all the liquid wrench. Um, these are just wall pic picture hangers. There's nothing in this, but I thought it was with that beehive right there. I thought it was pretty neat um, for antique tin. Painted or is it a it must be painted? There's something in this one. Ooh, winner winner. All antique keys. Let's see how many skeleton keys. One, two, three, four. Four brass skeletons. And it looks like five non brass skeletons and a neat little keys always sell better than uh, than scrap weight. So I tend to get a dollar or two more a pound when you sell uh, just regular house keys. online and the rest is just other flea market stuff but I don't know my favorite thing is definitely the Franklin glue um, sorry I didn't film uh, picking all this crap I mean stuff uh, I loaded the truck with uh, stuff from the oh, I'll show you what else I had on the truck I went went to Goodwill Uh, I picked Naz up these guns for, uh, I believe, oh, they're all over the place. It's hot today. The bag isn't holding up. I thought this one was pretty neat, though. Is it Nerf or is it? I guess it's got batteries. Made by Nerf. I have no clue how to turn it off. Here, here's the price tag. So I got all of them for six bucks. I got that one. I got the shotgun that I thought he could uh, easily convert into something else. It's got a neat handle. Uh, missing a clip on this Nerf gun. There's something that's supposed to be in there. It must have been. But we might be able to turn that into something. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it was a dollar a gun. It wasn't bad. And a marshmallow gun. I don't know if I'll use that. Maybe I'll give that to the kids. I also bought this uh, Wagner uh, stainless steel for, I think it was $2. Or I mean, cast iron. And uh, I bought this Chinese pot from Goodwill too. The only reason I bought it is it didn't have a marking underneath. That was 2 dollars 
but I'll probably get 10, 15 bucks for that. If the sun wasn't so, uh, so, uh, strong, I would clean out my wire today. Kind of need room for, uh, the flea market this weekend. Um, let's see. I, then I went trash picking. I picked up, uh, two signs. Or, I mean, two, uh, oh yeah. I forgot all about all this. So I got these two pictures, Corvettes. They were moving. Got that one and this one. I think that's pretty neat. I was just driving home and saw, saw the nice pictures. But I got these, I thought these were really cool. For standing on in the office. They're just like really nice uh, foam mats. And they had just sold the house. It's not like they were anything wrong with them. They just didn't want to. Even standing at the flea market, just because it's a nice cushion. And standing on the concrete all day behind your table definitely, definitely can mess up your back. But I don't know. I was pretty psyched about those. Definitely nice thick foam. Um, is there anything else? Oh, one last thing, and then that's it for today. I got uh, from that from the dumpster house. I got this uh, hand hooked rug. I think this is a decent little antique. I'll get like 15, 20 bucks. It's got deer in it. It's all hand done. It's probably. Uh, I don't know, 40 years old or so, but it's got good colors. I could sell it as a painting if it was a painting. So somebody's gonna want it. But besides that, I don't know. I figure the Corvette pictures are five, five, ten bucks. This is probably twenty. Um, probably gonna keep those mats. And on the table, I would say on the table we got at least a hundred. 120, 130 dollars for uh, filling up the garbage can. I'll get 15 bucks on the garbage can with with a lid, and I'll put the singer, the legs, and the keys online. Oh, and the silver, and the rest I'll sell at the market for probably 100 bucks. If the glue wasn't full, I'd probably try to sell that online, but I don't really want to worry about shipping. Still, they'll probably get me for the glue sniffers, <laughs> but who knows? That, that box, I, I wish I did uh, like sold stuff online or something. Like, uh, even why I'm showing you guys, be like, uh, oh, the, the box is for sale, the <laughs> just mail it to people who want it. But, you know, maybe one day, I'm not any good at doing all that. I just have fun showing you guys what what I picked and hopefully you guys go out and save a, save a little bit from trash too. No reason that we should throw out all this. I mean, there are collectors that would want all, a bunch of it, so. Um, especially if you live in a, like a big populated area, it's pretty easy to do, find stuff. Um, I am going to get to scrapping stuff and showing you guys how to break down different things. See what's uh, see what's worth scrapping and what or just sending in as light iron. Light iron right now they're paying eight bucks a uh, hundred for, and uh, I know that the international markets for copper and stuff have uh, tanked a little bit, so. I said it was like a dollar fifty right now for for brass, and I have a huge pile of brass. I uh, <laughs> I'm gonna process it this week, but this was all the brass that I got that is just scrap from uh, that that load, and I I would think there's about four hundred pound or four hundred dollars 
in in scraps got to be at least two hundred dollars in copper and brass or two hundred pounds in copper and brass so but i don't know soon i'll be showing you guys what what i'm shipping out for ebay naz is gonna help me do uh some internet stuff like i'm gonna start an ebay channel like full time soon um but i'll still be doing the market and stuff so all right thanks for watching Peace.